A new twist in the statewide flavored tobacco ban Governor Newsom announced on Friday. Critics tell KPIX 5's John Ramos the new rule takes a popular choice away from one community in particular. The ban is intended to eliminate the sweet, fruity flavors that may entice kids to start smoking. But when they included menthol in the ban, it suddenly became a racial issue. Actually, the idea is to remove anything that might make cigarettes taste good. In Oakland, Javon Lee says he began smoking sweet flavored tobaccos as a kid. They like that flavor stuff, like with the e cigarettes strawberry, pineapple, cupcake, ice cream. You know, so they they like the, that. Does that get them started? That, on yeah, I, 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 I'm going to say, yeah. But SB 93, authored by San Mateo Senator Jerry Hill, also includes menthol which some say makes cigarettes less harsh tasting. You know, the, the uh, burning sensation and the coughing that comes with using a cigarette for the first time, if you're using a cigarette that has menthol in it, that masks some of those effects, so it makes it easier for kids to initiate on tobacco. The problem is menthol cigarettes are wildly popular in the African-American community. The CDC says they are the choice of 80% of black smokers, including this man in Oakland named Reggie, who says he's tired of white politicians deciding what's best for black adults. We, we're getting treated like we, we are really uh, kids, because they're telling us what we can't buy and what we should buy. How can you tell a grown man anything about what he should buy with his money? If he want a cigarette, let him have a cigarette. There are plenty of contradictions. Regular tobacco will still be legal, and despite multi-million dollar anti-smoking campaigns, smoke shops are considered essential businesses during the pandemic. And Jarrett Whitmore works at a cannabis shop that sells the same flavors that are now being banned in tobacco products. Before all these vaporizers, cigarette flavors, there was only regular and menthol. So I think they just picked it because it was a flavor and, and it got lumped into the list because it was a flavor. And like I said, I think that's overstepping a little bit. Smoke shop owners were reluctant to go on camera, but fear what will happen to their businesses, especially in black neighborhoods, where high demand could drive sales underground and create an illegal market for menthol tobacco. In Oakland, John Ramos, KPIX 5. The new law goes into effect in January.